What's up, guys, and welcome back to another episode of Cafe Owner Simulator. As always, if you guys are enjoying this series, make sure you leave a like in the video. It'd be greatly appreciated. If you missed yesterday's upload, I highly recommend you go back and watch it. Otherwise, some of the stuff you'll see here today might not make that much sense. Basically, I lost my save game files for pretty much every game I've ever played, which isn't super convenient, so this game and many others I'm having to completely start over again. Having said that, I think now's the perfect time to introduce you all to our two new employees. We have Jack and Daniel. We actually did get another Danny boy. I don't think their stats are near as good as our previous employees that we had, but they should get the job done. Let's actually just quickly pay their premium so they can get a little bit more motivated for today. First things first, what we need to do, now that we've reached level 5, yet again for the second time, uh, we need to go into skills so we can start unlocking some of these. We have uh, Master, Manager, Communication Master, the Restorator, Barter, and Utility Benefits. Looks like the most expensive ones are going to be these two right here for 900 light bulbs a piece. I think you just sort of accumulate light bulbs over time as you complete tasks and things. So we're sitting at 3,100 of those suckers. I think we need to increase the speed of our staff for 350. There's a level one for manager now, and then increases the speed of equipment repairs. That's not super important. Your staff will be able to suggest customers to buy an additional dish more often. Increasing profits, that doesn't sound too bad, or lowers the price of utilities. Let's actually do that one, because that's that's the cheapest. In the last episode, we had a bunch of failing smoke detectors, and one of you actually let me know all we needed to do was just purchase the drill. So I went ahead and did that for about 500 buckaroonies. So next time they break, we should just be able to get the drill out and repair them instead of just selling the old one and buying a new one. But it's time to focus on our tasks yet again. So the next one is unblock the restroom, install at least one toilet stall, a hand dryer, two sinks, and a soap dish. Okay, that seems easy enough. We just need to go to my restaurant in here. And this is gonna cost us $5,500 for a bathroom. Dude. We gotta do it. With that purchase though, let's actually back all the way out again and then head out here. So since we have a proper restroom now, well, not quite yet. We still have to fill it with some things. I think we can probably just sell the uh, the Kaibos out here, the Johns, the Porta Johns, call it what you will. But I think over here, it's gonna be our new bathroom, dude. It's actually a decent size. I was, I was worried that it was gonna be just way too small, but we'll come through here real quick. We're also gonna need some lights in this space, I think, as well, because it is pretty dark. But we'll just come through, get rid of all this trash right quick. Trash is sitting at 80, 91, 96%. Of course. Of course, we're not going to be able to get all the way through doing the trash. So, garbage removal, 50 bones. We got to wait for the dude. Hang on, there's a super loud flyover happening again. Love that. Never gets old. But we've got to wait for the uh, the garbage dudes to do their thing. And then we can continue picking up the rest of that trash. Now that we've got our restroom cleaned up a little bit, we need to install at least one toilet stall. So let's go into Ava Zone, and we'll see if we can't find those. I'm assuming that's going to be in the toilet category. What was the symbol on this door? Is this a, a shared bathroom? Okay, cool. No sweat, no sweat. So for that reason... I don't think I'm gonna get a urinal. We could probably we could probably squeeze one in, but let's just let's stick with this for now. I'm gonna rotate it around and just put it in this back corner. That dropped us down to $2,200. We can't even interact with the thing, dude. We can't even open the door or, or do anything with it. So that is that now checked off the list. We need a hand dryer, two sinks, and a soap dish. We can place one right there. Try to keep it about the same level. Place the other just to the right of it. All right, sinks, done. Now we have our hand dryer. That's gonna go, how do we put it there? Or do we put it over here? We have more space over here. I, I don't know what like the traffic, foot traffic situation is gonna be like in the bathroom. So we'll just go with that for now. And then we need one of these. We'll put that right in between the two sinks. Makes sense, right? Okay, 
Uh, time to expand your business. Purchase shelves to sell chips, chocolate, and water. Sell 20 items from the shelves. Okay. Well, let's head out of the bathroom then, and we'll try to find a good spot to put up some shelving. I'm thinking like right in front of us. Only trouble now is we have to uh, we have to figure out where the shelves are kept in here. Thankfully, it tells us exactly where they're located. Tablet, AvaZone, and then selling. Got it. Tablet, AvaZone, and then selling is going to be right up here. Oh, it, dude, it's just like a, a garage shelf. Okay, I was thinking I was thinking something that would like hang up on the wall, but this is this is cool too. Looks like that is about as close as we're gonna be able to get to the front door there. So we need to sell 20 items just from the shelves alone. So how many items can we actually stock? Oh, we have to buy I mean that makes sense, but we have to buy water chips and chocolate. When do we get to start selling peepus, dude? I'm trying to stock peepus up in here. 45 on the shelf. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So we buy water for two, we sell it for four dollars, we buy chips for seven, we sell them for 14. Sweet, sweet, delicious profit. Nothing but profit. Chocolate, buy for 10, sell for 20. I'm loving it. All right, let's just keep going down the line here and purchasing these things until we have 20 items on that shelf. Make it 21. We'll add another chocolate on there. So we have seven of each of them now. There we go. We got chips, chocolate, and bottles of water. I did just hear a, uh, a homeless man just around the corner. These guys, I don't really know how to deal with them. I've tried to walk up to them slowly. I've tried to sprint up to them. And every time I get close, they just kind of, they get scared and, and run away. So I don't know if I'm just supposed to leave those guys alone. No idea. Now that we've got our shelf stocked, though, and our employees already in position, I think we're ready to open up for the day. It's been a minute. Oh, wait. We have another email, too? Good afternoon. Our company would like to offer you a project for a fast food place. We bought the building, but it's in bad condition. We need to remove trash, restore everything, and create an interior. We heard that you're a professional in this field. Do you take orders? I do. Uh, but I don't think I'll be doing that today. We'll probably save that for its own episode. Here we go. We got our first customer of the day. How you doing today, sir? Having some turkey. Cool, 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 cool. Did I remember... Hold the phone. Did I remember... I did remember to adjust the prices accordingly. Sweet. So we're actually going to be making a decent amount of money today. Hopefully. Fingers crossed anyways. Looks like we do have a few new things to choose from. Of course, if we add new food, we're going to have to get more ingredients as well. So I think we'll just hang out with the with the food we're cooking up for the moment. See how things go. How you doing today, ma'am? You want a lasag? We can help you out with that. There you are. Go have a seat. All right. Y'all cooking? Y'all doing stuff? You're not really making much noise back here. Sure are taking your sweet time in the refrigerator. Dude, they're so slow. They're so much slower than our than our old employees. Hello, welcome to 2G Cafe. What can I get you? We got a margarita pizza. All right, ma'am, go ahead and have a seat. The food will be with you shortly. Let's just clean up these little footprints here right quick. You have enough experience points to learn a new skill already? Dude, that's nuts. Okay, they're finishing orders. I need to start like taking them out to people. Uh, we got a lasag. Who had the lasag? You, ma'am. There you are. Hey, are you a chef? Couldn't help but notice your outfit. We may need some help here before too long because these two dudes are slow. Very, very slow. We've got a turkey dinner over here for you, sir. Thank you so much. And then a pepperoni pizza. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Dude, hurry up, please. Now you can hear the... Now that we've got like the restaurant filling up a little bit, you can sort of hear the uh, ambient noise of people clinging dishes together and... Kids crying, people yelling. It's good. Builds character. We got another customer coming up right now. Hang on. We have a margarita pizza. Be right with you, ma'am. Be right with you. We got to deliver the pizza to that lady. Get some Skrilla off the tables. All right. We're looking good. We are looking good. There's five more bones. Um, if, if anyone would like to buy something from the shelf, please... Have at it. I don't know how to, like, get them to just go over there and, and buy stuff on their own. Maybe we have to, uh, like, upsell them or something. 
There we go. Some taters for you, ma'am. And then we have a pepperoni pizza for this lady. There you are. Thank you so much for the business. Appreciate it. How did you get here? Did you just, like, teleport here somehow? Got another tater. Another tater, boys. Get, get them taters going. You guys are so slow. Please. You weren't even doing anything with the refrigerator. You would just stand in there. Thank you, ma'am. Have a great rest of your day and stuff and things or whatever. We got to clean up a few tables. Oh, no. This guy again, dude. The fire marshal comes way too frequently. Okay, give me a second, ma'am. We're waiting on some taters. All right. Waiting on uh, these dudes to, to make our taters for us. A Lazog. Thank you so much. Go have a seat. And our trash is stanking up the place. I think this is for you, maybe? Or is it for is it for this one? Oh, yeah. Order number five and then order number six. Gotcha. Hold that thought. We've got another one. Uh, we passed. Good. Good. Great. Now, please don't come back for, like, a few months. Because I swear you're, you're coming here, like, every other day. Let's take that trash out. Open up our mop here. Take care of some of these footprints right quick. Any up here? Looking good, looking good. Okay, what do we got? What do we got, boys? You're just one lasagna. You're working on one lasagna and it's taking you... Wait, not enough products to make a dish. We've already run out? Oh yeah, it looks like we're missing whatever this is. I think that's ketchup. And then some onion. Perfect. Okay, well, we've got those ordered. We just need to get them put in our little refrigerator. But we've got a lasag. A lasag for you, miss. There you are. Enjoy that. Dude, only one person has bought something from our shelf so far. That is... That is gonna take a long time. Alrighty, last one going in the fridge. Sweet. How are you? Are you twins? You're also both chefs. Interesting. Okay, what can I get you? We've got a margarita pizza and another margarita pizza. You're definitely twins. A hundred percent. We've got to get our little mop out again. Take care of that. Then we should have some Skrilla over here. A little bit of trash. I got to do something about these two, dude. They are just so incredibly slow. Let's go into skills again really quickly. And then increase the speed of your staff. Absolutely. There. We're at level two now. Hopefully they'll be quite a bit faster. Some taters? Absolutely, sir. I will, uh, I will get the boys right on it. Then we've got two margarita pizzas ready to rock. We have one for table 10, or order 10 first. Come on. Place place it on the... Place it on the... Okay, it's for this lady, I guess. Oh, it highlights... It highlights the person you're supposed to take it to. How did I not notice that? Look, she's highlighted over there. How did I not notice that until just now, dude? Okay, we've got to get the taters out to that dude. Not quite ready yet. What, what can we get you, sir? A lasag? Sure. Easy enough. All right, dudes. Hurry it up. For real. Got some taters going up to this dude right here. Thank you, sir. Enjoy your food. Got to clear some tables. That lady should be finished here soon as well. Got another tater. Get another tater going, boys. And the lasag is going to go right up here to this guy. Thank you so much, sir. Got some more Skrilla on this table. Got a little bit of, little bit of footprints to clean up here real quick, too. Hang on a sec, sir. Just gotta, you know, sweep around your feet, don't mind me. It is partially my fault, I think, that these guys are so slow. Like, I should probably get them a second oven to use, a second refrigerator as well. Um, but we don't exactly have a ton of money to be doing that. Because right now they're they're sharing uh, appliances, pretty much. So, another Lazog. We can get that going for you, sir. No problemo. And then let's take the turkey dinner up to this lady. There you are. All right, we've got another order ready. I just heard the little ding over there. Got some taters for you, sir. Enjoy the taters. Ma'am, what can we get you? Some more taters. Dude, everybody loves the taters. Another tater, boys. Another tater. We've got a lasag for you. Thank you so much. And then over here, got another tater to take out. Perfect. That is going to go to this lady. All right, some more cash. So... Whenever there's cash on the table, that's that's essentially just our tip. We make 
the most amount of money from their initial order, but it's still, it's nice to get some tips, you know? We're up to 1,500 bucks now. Two items, two items have been sold, and I think they're both chocolates, actually, from our, from our little shelf. Dude, that is really gonna take a long time. Unless, let's go back into skills here. Would increasing communication master help us out with selling the stuff from the shelves? I'm half tempted just to try it. I mean, what do we have to lose? We need another Lazog, boys. And a margarita pizza. Let's take the current tater order. Up to this dude. Thanks so much, my man. Oh, no. Oh, no, my dude. So these guys, we can approach. They're not going to run away. What do, what do you need? 15? Dude, no sweat. Here's $15. Go on, get... What do we got next? Oh my. You guys, you're so slow. All right, we got orders up, dude. I'm I'm falling behind a little bit. Definitely falling behind. We've got a Lazog over here, table 19. Got you. Thank you for the dollar on that one. Incredible. And then we have a margarita pizza for this dude. I'm going to deliver this pizza to table 21 here. We'll pick up some more Skrilla from this dude. Is he going to He picked something up. That's 3 out of 20. Okay. I want to do things a little bit differently. Let's hit tab here real quick. We got to close. I'm so sorry, everyone that was in line. I am so incredibly sorry. Uh, but I want to I want to try something else here. 16 bucks for a tip there. That is nutty. Okay, so at level 5, we should be able to actually uh, assign an employee to work here. We just have to wait for this one dude to leave. And then we'll be able to uh, mess around with that a little bit. Let's first open up management. I'm going to pay the premium probably two times for the two of them. And since Jack's communication skills are far superior to that of Daniel's, I think I'm going to I'm going to send him off of the job. So now we've now we've just got Danny boy over there. And then let's assign Jack to here. So he should be our cashier now. Let's go ahead and open things back up and we'll see we'll see how it goes. I, I have no idea what Jack is gonna do differently than what we were doing, but maybe it'll be a bit more like passive income. We won't actually have to do much else other than like clean up some leaves here and there. We got our first customer approaching the counter. Let's see what Jack does. Oh, that was immediate. That was immediate. Okay, I like that already way more than me doing it. But will he also deliver said food when Danny Boy is done making it? That's my next question. Of course, Danny Boy is still slow at cooking. Nothing has changed there. He's on the move. He's on the move. And he delivers it too. Okay, this, this is great. Honestly, this is great for us. Look at that. He just took that lady's order too. As soon as Danny Boy is done with that one, he's going to deliver it to her. I don't think he'll be busting tables though. We'll probably still have to do that as well. Okay, he definitely is not busting tables. So we'll still have to do that, but no big deal. Honestly, I, I would prefer that over taking people's orders and then delivering food to them as well. So Jack is going to be holding down the fort for us, dude. The line's getting pretty long already, and it's, it's not Jack's fault. It's just not. It's Danny Boy's fault. He's still just too slow. So I think what I want to try next is heading back into management. Let's pay the headhunter 30 bucks and we'll see who we can get. Amelia, about like half work speed. That's just as good as Jack's, I suppose. Communication's pretty poor. Motivation is high, $50. That's very, very cheap compared to these other two. First close and empty the restaurant, of course. All right, so let's go ahead and do that and we can apply another employee to, uh, to that other kitchen table right there. Sir, I'm just gonna stand here and, and watch you eat. Hopefully that's not super weird, but uh, you're the last person in the restaurant at the moment. So just waiting on you, bud. We got us a faulty smoke detector back here. So let's get that drill out and we'll see if it actually fixes them. Smoke detectors maintenance. Hang on, just super loud flyover. Sorry about that. Uh, when a smoke detector breaks down, there are two options available to you. One is to repair it using the drill at no additional cost. The other is to replace it with a new one. Fresh smoke detectors will last longer and take more time to break, though. So choose 
wisely. I see. So there is some, some give and take there. Well, let's go ahead and assign Amelia here as our secondary chef. And we can open things back up again. We're up to 6 out of 20 items now sold from the shelf. So we're doing good. It's slow moving, but we're doing good. We do have a lot of light bulbs at our disposal still. Sitting at 2,500 of those suckers. So let's increase the speed of our staff once more. Thanks to Jack and Amelia, we've now made it up to level 6. I don't think there's anything new that we can do at level six like when we hit five you know we unlock the the skills tab here looks like level seven is going to be the camera and we need to use that to take a picture of bigfoot or something haven't actually seen him yet but apparently it exists wait a minute how do we have forty six hundred dollars now do you do you get paid out a certain amount of money when you level up i swear we just we just had like a grand is all and, and suddenly 4600 bucks i know i know that wasn't from people tipping us their tips are, are not that good usually got another faulty smoke detector take care of that real quick no big deal and then oh another homeless guy over here oh some skrilla thank you for that maybe we just need to approach him from behind very very slowly or will he still, he's still just going to run away. I can't interact with him at all either. So he's going to get mad that I chased him off, even though I wasn't trying to chase him off. And he'll come back and throw rocks or bricks or whatever through our windows. Don't quote me on this, but I think the way that this works is we can either pay the premium or just have our employees sort of leave for a little while. And their motivation should eventually start to increase again. Having two chefs has definitely helped us out, but they're still sort of sharing appliances. So what I want to do is head into Ava Zone. I want to try to find a new oven, or I guess another oven. Ooh. We we might could just, you know, purchase the Caesar here. Maybe even two of those. And then potentially another new refrigerator. We're gonna have to temporarily just move one of those kitchen tables out of the kitchen so we can get all this new stuff situated. Let's sell the original oven. You can just tell, like visually, these look a lot nicer, um, but we'll get them both rotated around and I'll put them side by side. We'll maybe put another new refrigerator like over to the right of them. Next, we're gonna need to head into other so we can grab some more electrical outlets. One is gonna go right here and another over here. I think we might also have to move this one just slightly. Oh my good lord, what is that? What the heck was that, dude? I see it. I see it. It's a shame we're not level 7. I, I could just take a picture of him right now. But that is that is definitely a Bigfoot. 100%. We're going to pretend like we didn't see him out there. And we'll just get our appliances plugged in here. Last but not least, we need to recenter our little exhaust hood up there. I think that looks pretty nice. Oh, hang on, I forgot we still have to move the uh, the kitchen table back in here somewhere too. We really didn't even spend all that much money. We still have $3,300 somehow, but let's go ahead and just get our employees placed in where they need to be. I just wanna, I, I just wanna test this out Really quick, we've got Amelia and Danny Boy over there. And then our cashier is, of course, Jack. I'm going to continue to just sort of monitor the kitchen here for a little while. Make sure everything is working the way that it should. Just trying to get it all figured out so we can actually have a uh, remotely efficient cafe. I never put any lights in the bathroom, did I, dude? This place looks awful. No wonder nobody's using it. What do you want now? What do you want now? I woke up this morning and realized my favorite dark lager is out. I found two open bottles yesterday in the trash of the cafe down the next street. They often throw out... Dude, can you stop, like, mumbling? I'm just trying to read this, and you're really screwing me up. Now I want a hangover, but I'm literally $4 short. I guess here's $4 for your hangover or something. Jack, buddy, the line is getting very, very long here. I can't even take orders, can I? No. 
All right, gotta leave that up to him. That's fine. He can take care of it. Let's fix this really quick. There we are. And we've got a few tables that we need to clear off here. How many light bulbs we got now? 2,200. Let's open up skills yet again. I think, I think we need more speed. You can never have too much speed. A thousand light bulbs, dude, for level four. Increasing the speed for all of our employees. Hopefully Jack as well. Well, we just had a bunch of people turn around and leave because surprise, surprise, we've somehow run out of ingredients yet again. But to be honest, I do think that's probably a good spot for us to wind things down at for today. So once again, if you guys did enjoy, please leave a like. Leave a comment, help support the dream by smashing that subscribe button, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Peace.